Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here today to give you a little demo on how to do uh, printing of advanced black and white and color using Lightroom and Photoshop on Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're here in Lightroom, we we'll use it as a starting point, and I usually use maximize size for my prints, and I make sure that rotate to fit is set. And a lot of times I'll come in and you know, change my borders to where I can maximize the page. It's kind of up to you as to how you want to do that. Now, if I wanted to print in color, what I would need to do is I need to have my paper profile. And if you don't see your paper profile on this list, you just choose other and go locate the one that you need. Now, if you looked, read the article on my blog, you know that it's the printer name, the paper name, and then the ink type, and this is photo black, and then the version. So this is this is what we need for this particular paper. And then we come over here to page setup, go into properties, and we know that for this particular paper, I actually have you know various presets and stuff. I haven't set one for this one, so um, I can set my media type to photo paper luster. And then I want to be color for this one, maximum quality. I want to turn color management off. This is critical because if I have color management on here and I have it on Lightroom, that's double color management. I'll get really horrible results. So it's either on here or on here, but not both. So in this case, I'll turn it to off. I'll set my paper size and my feed. And so I'm going to use the sheet feeder for this paper. Um, it generally works fine, but if you wanted to use the front fine art, you may as well. I don't generally do borderless, but if you did, that's where you'd set it. And I generally just make sure the orientation is set correctly here. And then sometimes I'll use this, but generally um, the software that I'm in will take that care, care of that for me. This is really only used when you don't have the software that will do it for you. So I say OK. And so by using this here, I've set up the printer settings, and that controls what, beha what behavior I get over here. Um, since I'm going to print color, I set my resolution. Um, it can be 360 or 240. Honestly, it's uh, going to be fine either way. And then print sharpening. You know, If I hadn't finally tuned this image, I'd probably go ahead and turn print sharpening on. I usually do lower medium, and the paper type would be glossy. However, this one's been sharpened properly, so I don't need to do that. Um, as we mentioned, choose paper profile and rendering intent. I usually do relative unless I'm not happy with it, in which case I'll do uh, perceptual. And then we can go ahead and print. So not too difficult. Now, let's suppose we wanted to do advanced black and white instead. So what we'll do, first thing we want to hear is we want to we want to turn color management off in Lightroom. And the way we do that is we say manage by printer. This means Lightroom will not do any color management. You notice how these become disabled. It's up to the printer driver to do that now. So if I say page setup, properties. So the main thing I want to do in here is come in and change this color to advanced black and white photo. So this is Epson's advanced black and white mode. Notice I still have um, photo black ink. And then there's this mode that I can choose the temperature of it. So you know, this uh, more bluer colors, this is more brown, um, warmer colors. But what's better to do is come in here into advanced. And generally, I'll set it to warm and dark. And I'll usually leave it, leave it at that. But what this will do is this will give you a preview here. This is before and this is after the settings you've done here. So you notice I've chosen a warmer look for this. If you prefer a more neutral color, well then by all means, you know, set it to cool, warm, neutral. And these are fairly accurate as to what you're going to get. But personally, <clears throat> personally, I prefer warm. And then second, you always have to set this second 
generally I see the sh uh, shadows work out best when you do dark, darker and darkest are a little too dark for my taste. But you can also dial those in if you decide that you're not happy with the results. And again, everything else pretty much remains the same as we discussed before. So I say OK. OK. Now if I were to print, I would get an advanced black and white version of this. Now what's important to remember is this particular image here is not black and white per se. It is more of a, a sepia warm tone. And so that means the print that I get will not accurately reflect what I see here. What we did first where we used a paper profile, that will be an accurate representation of what's actually stored in the file. The uh, advanced black and white mode will not be an accurate representation. However, the advantage of that feature is that it does generally offer better details in the shadow areas and an overall better tonal range of uh, black and grayscale tones. And so um, which one you use is sort of personal preference. Of course, if you're using color, you'll always you know, use the color profile mechanism. But when you're doing black and whites, um, definitely give black, advanced black and white uh, a try. It's pretty cool. Works out very nicely, usually. So now we're going to go over here to Photoshop and see how to do the same things. So we're going to go File, Print. And let's start by printing this in color. So the way we do that is we tell Photoshop we want it to manage the colors. And we choose our paper profile. I'm going to stretch this out so you can see it a little bit better. <coughs> and then let's go up here to print settings. And we notice everything is all messed up from the last time I was in here. So I will choose photo highest quality, photo paper, luster, color, max quality, turn off color management, and set my paper size. This panel offers you a quick view of all the settings that you've made. And this is a landscape print, so I'm actually going to choose the landscape for this one. And you'll notice that in this version of Photoshop, it actually communicates with each other and changes it to landscape. Some older versions of Photoshop will not do that, so you may have to make sure that both uh, the printer dialog and Photoshop dialog reflect the same values. And so now we have everything set up to print color. All I have to do is hit print. I choose done. It just saves that information. If I were to try to close this file, it's going to ask me if I want to save my settings, even though I haven't done anything to edit the photo. And the reason is, is that it'll actually save your print information with the file, which is super handy for, for uh, printing in the future. So I recommend doing that. Now, again, printing that way will give me an image that should look pretty close to what I have right here. Same color tones and, and details and so on. However, if I wanted to try out the advanced black and white mode, I would do file print. I would turn off color management, go into print settings, come here, go to advanced black and white mode, same as Lightroom. I can set my temperature to whatever I want, but I usually do it in this dialog here. And I set my tone to dark. And again, these are not, there's no right or wrong answer here. Generally, dark gives you the best grayscale tones, so I do recommend uh, that one. However, the color toning is purely personal preference. This is an image by Greg Gorman. Greg Gorman and I spoke, and he likes the warm setting, and I kind of agree with him. It looks really nice, it's a cool look. And so that's what I generally go with. Um, but, you know, there's plenty that I've done in uh, neutral as well. So then I hit OK. Hit OK again. And now we're all ready to print. Now what's important to notice is that when I do this, this does not represent what the printer is going to do. 
And notice all these are disabled. This is no longer a print preview. This is just an image, and it's up to the printer to do all the work. If I come in here and say Photoshop manages colors, you notice how that tone just changed and all these lit up because it depends on what the printer profile is. And they're trying to do what's called soft proofing here to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So keep that in mind. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to print in Lightroom and Photoshop using both color as well as advanced black and white. Thank you. Bye-bye.